Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find all the values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation. And to solve this problem, we are going to start by taking log of both sides of the equation. And of course, since the problem is given in base 2, we are going to continue working in base 2. So when we take log to base 2 of both the left-hand side and the right-hand side, we have log to base 2 of x to the power log to base 2 of x squared plus 11 is equal to log to base 2 of 64 times x to the power 6 times log to base 2 of x. Now, on the left-hand side, we are going to apply the power rule of logarithms. That is the rule that says that we can bring down this exponent to the front to become a multiplier. Now, when we apply this rule, we have log to base 2 of x squared plus 11 multiplied by log to base 2 of x. And this is equal to... Now, on the right-hand side, notice that here we have 64 times x to the power 6 times log to base 2 of x. This is a product. And of course, you remember that log a times b is equal to log a plus log b. So we can write this as log to base 2 of 64 plus log to base 2 of x to the power 6 times log to base 2 of x. And of course, you know that we can also apply the power rule of logarithms to this term. We are going to bring down this exponent to the front of this log term to become a multiplier. When we do that, we have log to base 2 of 64 plus 6 times log to base 2 of x multiplied by log to base 2 of x. Now, let us look at log to base 2 of 64. Of course, you know that 64 is 2 to power 6. And now, remember that when we have log to base a of a to power b, that this is simply equal to b. So, log to base 2 of 2 to the power 6 is equal to 6. So that simply means that this right-hand side is equal to 6 plus 6 times log to base 2 of x multiplied by log to base 2 of x. Now, when you look at the right-hand side and you look at the left-hand side, you will see that here we have log to base 2 of x. It's squared. We also have log to base 2 of x. Here we have log to base 2 of x, and here we have log to base 2 of x. So let log to base 2 of x be equal to d. And now with this substitution, we can write this equation as d squared plus 11 multiplied by d is equal to, here we have 6 plus 6 times d multiplied by d. And opening these brackets, we have d squared times d. That is d cubed plus 11 times d. That is 11d. And this is equal to 6 plus 6d times d is 6d squared. Now, rearranging this equation, we have d cubed. This is going to come over to the left and become minus 6d squared. We have plus 11d. This is also going to come over to the left and become minus 6. And of course, we have 0 left on the right-hand side. Now, you can see that we have a cubic equation. To solve this cubic equation, let us see if we can factorize this expression. 
Now, since we have d cube here and we have minus 6, you know that if this cubic equation is going to have rational roots, then those roots must be factors of 6. So let us test d equal to 1. Now, when we substitute d equal to 1 into this left-hand side, we have 1 cubed minus 6 times 1 squared plus 11 times 1 minus 6. Now, this is 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6. Minus 6 minus 6 is minus 12. 1 plus 11 is 12. 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. So you can see that this left-hand side is equal to 0 when d is equal to 1. So that means that d minus 1 is a factor of this cubic expression. So to find the other factor, what we are going to do is that we will divide this expression by d minus 1. And of course, to do that, we are going to use the synthetic division method. So let us set out our division. We have the coefficient of d cubed is 1. The coefficient of d squared is minus 6. The coefficient of d is 11. And of course, the constant term is minus 6. We are dividing with 1. We bring down 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. 1 times minus 5 is minus 5. 11 minus 5 is 6. 1 times 6 is 6. Minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. So now this becomes the coefficient of d squared. This becomes the coefficient of d. And this becomes the constant term. So we have that when we divide this expression by d minus 1, what we have is d squared minus 5d plus 6. So now we can write this left-hand side as d minus 1 multiplied by d squared minus 5d plus 6. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now we can further factorize this. Since we have d squared here, all we have to do is to find the factors of plus 6 that add up to minus 5. And of course, those factors are going to be minus 2 and minus 3. Because minus 2 times minus 3 is going to give us plus 6. While minus 2 minus 3 is going to give us minus 5. So here we have d minus 2 multiplied by d minus 3. And of course here we have d minus 1. And everything is equal to 0. And of course now you know that this simply means that either d minus 1 is equal to 0 or d minus 2 is equal to 0 or d minus 3 is equal to 0. Of course, when we add 1 to both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to 1. When we add 2 to both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to 2. And when we add 3 to both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to 3. So we have that the three values of d that satisfy this cubic equation are d equal to 1, 2, and 3. And now, going back to this equation to find the values of x, we have that either log to base 2 of x is equal to 1, or log to base 2 of x is equal to 2, or log to base 2 of x is equal to 3. Now, remember that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that 2 to the power 1 is equal to x. So we have that either x is equal to 2 to the power 1, or x is equal to 2 to the power 2, or 
x is equal to 2 to the power 3. So we have that the three values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation are x equal to 2, x equal to 4, and lastly, x equal to 8. Now let us substitute the values of x and log to base 2 of x that we have calculated into this original equation to see whether the equation is satisfied. Here we have x2. Log to base 2 of x when x is equal to 2 is 1. So we have 1 squared, which is 1, plus 11. And this is equal to... Now remember that 64 is 2 to the power 6. So we, we have 2 to the power 6 multiplied by once more x is equal to 2. And log to base 2 of x is equal to 1. So 6 times 1 is equal to 6. Of course, you know that when two numbers with the same base multiply themselves, what we do is to add the exponents. So this is equal to 2 to the power 12. That is 6 plus 6. And of course, 1 plus 11 is also 12. So you can see that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Now, when x is equal to 4, we have 4 to the power 2 squared is 4 plus 11 and this is equal to 64 is 4 to the power 3 because 64 is 4 times 4 times 4 this is multiplied by 4 to the power log to base 2 of x when x is equal to 4 is 2 6 times 2 is 12 so here we have 4 plus 11 is 15. So this is 4 to the power 15. And of course, if we add 3 to 12, we have 4 to the power 15. So once more, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And when x is equal to 8, here we have 2 to the power 3. Because of course, 8 is 2 cubed into log to base 2 of x when x is equal to 8 is 3 so this is 3 cubed which is 9 plus 11 and on the right hand side we have 64 which is 2 to the power 6 multiplied by 2 to the power 3 now log to base 2 of x when x is equal to 8 is 3 so here we have 6 times 3 which is 18 now here we have 2 to the power 3 times 9 plus 11 is 20. 2 to the power 6 multiplied by 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2, 5. 3 times 20 is 60. 54 plus 6 is 60. So once more, you can see that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side when x is equal to 8. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.